Hello friends, myself Amar. Now in this video, I will discuss another flutter widget known as stepper. Okay. Now, as you can see in the output, this is a stepper widget. Here we have title one, title two, title three, title four. This means there are four steps in the stepper widget. This individual title one, title two, title three, and title four. These are called as the individual steps. This means this stepper widget consists of four steps. Okay. Now, if you click title one, then you can see it is giving me an option to continue or to cancel. If I click on continue, then it will move to the step two. If I click here, then it will move to the step three and so on. Okay. How to create this stepper widget in Flutter? That portion I will discuss today. Okay. Now here what I have done. as usual here we have a main dot dot file now in this main dot dot file there is a run app method now if you don't know what is this main method what is this run app then you can watch my uh, flutter tutorial videos okay the link you can find in the description of my video now here what i have done here i have used a material app widget having the title as flutter ui and in the home i have written stepper demo okay now if you can see here if i minimize this then you can see flutter ui is visible here this text is coming from here because here i have given the title of the material app as flutter ui that's why this flutter ui is coming here right now in the home what i have done here i have used stepper demo now this stepper demo is what this is nothing but a class okay and to create this class what i have done here here i have created a dart file named as stepper demo dot dart and to create the file what i have done just right click here new and from here you can get the option dart file now here you need to specify the name of the dart file in my case i have given the name of the dart file as stepper demo and you are not required to specify the extension okay android studio will put the extension by itself right now in the stepper demo dot dart file here what i have done here i have created a stateful widget named as stepper demo and this widget i am using here right now here as you know that whenever a class extends the stateful widget then we need to override the create state method and in this method what i am doing i am returning stepper demo state this is again a class which is extending the state of which type stepper demo type all these things i have discussed in my previous flutter tutorial videos right now here what i have done here i have created a variable named as current state having the value as 0 now we also know that whenever a class extends the state then we need to override the build method and in the build method what i have done i have created the ui and in the ui portion what i have done i have returned a material having the child as a scaffold okay and since we are using a scaffold it will have a app bar to give the app bar we have used app bar attribute and in the app bar as a title i have given the text as stepper demo as you can see here this is the text which is coming this is the app bar and the text of the app bar is stepper demo which is coming from here right now in the body of the scaffold what i have done i have used another widget named as container and in the child attribute what i have done i am using the stepper widget okay now in the stepper widget the first attribute is steps okay and in the steps what i have written i have written lst step now what is this lst step let me show you here what i have done here i have created a list of step okay and inside this array what i have done here i have created my first step now this step widget has some attributes like title in the title i have given the title as title 1 for sub title i have given the sub title as sub title 1 and the content i have given as this is step 1 and it has another attribute that is called as is active i have made it as true okay and similarly i have created four more steps and i have changed the title accordingly okay for step 2 i have given the title 2 and for step 3 i have given the title 3 and so on right in this way i have created a list of steps right as you can see in the code now now here what i have done in the steps attribute i have specified the 
नेम ऑफ द लिस्ट विच कंटेन्स द ग्रुप ऑफ स्टेप दैट इज एल एस टी स्टेप दिस एल एस टी स्टेप नेम आई हैव स्पेसिफाइड हियर नाउ वॉट विल बी द वैल्यू ऑफ द करेंट स्टेप दिस इज अनदर एट्रीब्यूट वॉट विल बी द वैल्यू ऑफ द करेंट स्टेप द वैल्यू आई हैव स्पेसिफाइड एज करेंट अंडर स्टोर स्टेप एज यू कैन सी हियर आई हैव डिक्लेयर्ड अ वेरिएबल करेंट अंडर स्टोर स्टेप हैविंग द वैल्यू इज जीरो दिस मीन्स द करेंट स्टेप विल बी द जीरो स्टेप दिस मीन्स द फर्स्ट स्टेप राइट नाउ what will be the type of the stepper the stepper can have two types horizontal and vertical now since here i have specified the type as vertical that's why you can see a vertical stepper right if you specify the title as horizontal then it will become a horizontal stepper okay now in the on step cancel this is another attribute on step cancel now when this method will be called whenever i am clicking on this cancel at that time this method will be called and whenever this method will be called here what i have done here i have used the set state method and i have initialized the value of current step to zero this means whenever the cancel button will be clicked it will move to the current step right on step continue now this will work when whenever we will click on this continue button and whenever this continue button will be clicked at that time what will happen the value of the current step will be incremented by one as you can see here right on step tabbed now here what will happen this method will be called when whenever i am clicking here suppose i am clicking on step 2 step 1 at that time this on step tabbed method will be called and what i have done here whenever this method will be called then the value of the current step will be equals to step as you can see this on step method is taking a uh, parameter named as step here you can write anything but here i have given the name as a step okay and whatever whatever be the value of a step that value will be initialized to the current step variable this means if i am clicking here then the value of a step will be 1 right similarly if i am clicking here then the value of the step will be 2 right and the value of the step will be initialized to the current step variable okay now as you can see here whenever i am clicking on step 1 then this is the title this is the subtitle this is the content right now if you click on cancel let me click on continue then whenever the continue is clicked then you can see the value of the current step is incremented by 1 and we move to the step 2 now if i click on cancel then what will happen whenever i will click on the cancel at that time the value of the current step will be 0 this means whenever i will click here then it will move to the step 0 see we are moving to the step 0 this is how we can use the stepper widget in flutter and the entire code you can see this is my main dot dart here i have used stepper demo and obviously to use this stepper demo class we need to import and the import statement i have written here and this is the code for the stepper demo dot dart you can have a look this is the entire code for the stepper demo and as i told you that stepper can be of type horizontal and vertical you can just specify the type here stepper type dot vertical or stepper type dot horizontal right and this is the entire code i hope you have liked my video if you liked my video please subscribe my channel thank you so much